Hey Rob, it's Marianne here, howdy from London, UK. I am very excited to join the conversation of how do you save the world? Rob and I met on a trip to a nuclear disaster zone. But compared to this question, that was a walk in the park. So here's the thing. When we say save the world, we don't actually mean save the world because this big old ball of rock with fire in its belly is going to keep spinning through space long after we've gone. When we say save the world, we mean how do we save the world for humans? Now, I have been fortunate enough to go to some incredible places on planet Earth and see some amazing things. But let's be honest, most of us, and that includes me, spend most of our time doing this, 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 and about three years of our life doing this. Although, obviously, normally you're not wearing your jeans. So the question for me is actually, how do you save the world when you're sitting at your desk? How do you save the world when you're on the bus on the way to school or work? How do you save the world when you're just hanging out on the sofa. <sighs> it's really easy to think, I'm just one little person, how the heck am I going to save the rainforest and stop the ice caps melting and save the world? Well, yeah, we are each one little person. But little people can do incredible things if we work together. Support a charity that works to promote environmental causes you care about. Get involved with a citizen science project or a local group. Choose wisely when you go shopping and say no thanks to all that extra plastic they try and give you. And lobby your MP or state representative and tell your favourite brands what you want to see in terms of their packaging and processes. We need to put pressure on the people in power. That's how little people get their voice heard. That's how we save the world. And lastly, get out there, enjoy the world and share your passion. You don't need to go anywhere exotic. You don't need to get on a plane. You can find your nearest woodland. You can take your dog for a walk around the block. You can say to your parents or to your kids, hey, let's go out, go on an adventure and discover something new. And you can do that in your back garden. And every single one of those tiny little steps helps to save the world. Now, if you're watching this video, you should know that it's part of a whole series whereby I asked all of these science hosts to answer the question, how do you save the world? Which is a huge question. I understand that. There's not going to be one way to answer it. But every single one of these people has their unique perspective on the world. You know, as hosts, they get to travel around all over the place and see things that a lot of us don't get to see. And so I'm really excited to watch them all myself. Now, you should know, none of us got together, told anyone what we were going to say. So everybody's response is unique and different and unbiased by anyone else's. So, I encourage you to be part of this conversation. It's an important conversation to have every so often, I think. So, leave your comments down below. Also, you know, continue the conversation on social media. Use the hashtag Save the World. And if you want to make your own video response, I highly encourage that. I would love to see it. Uh, let us know in the comments below when you do that. Okay, thanks for watching.